Hello, I'm Joy Annoy and this is the step one of finding that career opportunity. Now, as I said before in the introduction, this is to get you to find the job that you want, okay? So, as I say, go down to jncoachingtechnologies.weebly.com and you'll be able to email me and I'll send you the guide. Um, this should be very practical stuff to get you to on that, that ladder to, to your success or if you're in a job, to get the next step up onto the ladder. So it's all good stuff. Um, before we go through the first step, what I want to do is to share with you something that I found fantastic in terms of looking for opportunity. I don't know if you've seen it, but if you know Darren Brown, you'll know a lot about him, should have, should do. You either like him or you don't, but what I'd say you do is this programme that he had called The Secret of Luck. Now, what the programme said was that, in essence, was that there are people who look for opportunity and people who don't. People who think they've got bad luck, essentially, and people who think they've got good luck. Well, the luck is what you create. So what it showed was that the people who felt lucky were actually looking for opportunity. They were exploiting opportunities, staying present in terms of, yeah, looking at, looking at for the opportunity. They weren't focused. And so anything opportunity that arose at that time, they would take advantage of it. Now, the person who didn't, even though in the experiment they put things in his way, looking at things for him, even though they did offer an opportunity, he wasn't taking it. For example, when you look at I would really ask you to go and have a look at, look at it from that perspective, um, as I promised myself I'd share this stuff with you. So what happened was, was that um, Darren went into this sleepy village and said that it's lucky dog. Anyway, cut a long, long story short again, is that this person who was felt he wasn't had any luck at all, essentially wasn't looking for opportunities. So what they actually did to try and get him to take an opportunity was, first they did a survey where you could get £20 for asking five simple questions. He didn't bother with that one. He was then walking along the street and they stuck £50 note right where he was actually, where he was right in front of his, where he's walking. Again, because he wasn't focused on getting that opportunity, he would just ignore it. And in the end, there's a massive great billboard sign say, please call this number. Anyway, watch the programme and see what happens when he was made aware of it. So what it's actually doing was changing the way he was thinking. Now, that's what you have to do. Um, a lot of the times when we're looking for jobs and looking for that opportunity, we are simply saying, oh, we're never going to get anywhere. We're never going to... So what will happen is that as a self-fulfilling prophecy, you won't do it. So the first step in this guide is to get clarification as to what job do you want? What do you want? You might be in a job already. You're not happy. You're thinking, I'm not going anywhere. I've actually... It's done one day today, so I've spoken to a few people and they're actually saying to me, oh, I can't do this and I can't do that. And what was happening was they're putting barriers in their way themselves. That is what was happening. So what I'm saying to you is put, sit down, say for half an hour and clarify exactly what job do you want? What do you want to do? Once you do that, you then got to ask your questions. You've got to say, what qualifications do I need? Where do I need to go? Who do I need to communicate with to, to present this opportunity to me? And the more you do that, the more you'll find the opportunity to actually find where you want to go. It might be that you think you're not getting on with your boss. Do you need to improve communications? Things like that. So in the guide, it gives you these questions that you need to sit down. So I'd encourage you to sit down for 30 minutes, write down without any barriers. So don't put any barriers in your way. Don't think about money. Don't think about time. Just give yourself 30 minutes to write down exactly what you want. Use your passion as to what you, you might have a hobby that you're very passionate about that you might be able to turn into a money-making venture. Um, you might be in a career already that you're not happy and want to change it. So change it. You know, it's up to you. You need to find those opportunities. And this, this guide will give you practical steps to be able to do that. Um, also, for small business owners or business owners in general, this, is, this guide can really help as well because it can help you attract the right sort of person for your firm. Again, you want people who are motivated and want to progress and want to bring in the most amount of money for your firm. Essentially, that's where your success is based. But at the same time, you want to be giving people that motivation to progress within your firm and therefore make it more successful. Anyway, get the guide. See what you think. Comments, I'd love them because what I'm going to do is create products to help you do that. So if you comment on that, what you want to see next in the next video, I'll do that. Um, and so I'll create products to help you if it's things like um, confidence or things like that. We can talk about those in the next videos and we'll create some products. So see you next time. Good luck and keep going. Thank you very much.